Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be drawing King Amun, the character Jazza drew in his design video, his youngest son, Amos. Firstly, I tried to create a pose that would portray regality and supposed superiority to try and get more of a feel for Amos' character. A prompt I got from Naish Ahmed to draw Amun's evil son based on the moon. So I did a little research and found that there was an ancient Egyptian god named Khonsu. He dealt with the passing of time, terrorised bad spirits, and had two forms, a human form and an eagle form. I began to develop a face. Uh, I knew I wanted it to be thinner and to convey how Amos believes that the Azishian people were by far superior to all other people and other races. And that his older brother, Aten, the character that Naish is drawing on his own channel, uh, his journey to spread peace to the far corners of the empire with the other races was pitiful and shameful as there was no point sharing their greatness with the important people. At this point in the design process, I found that the faces were portraying an older and wiser persona and this wasn't what I was trying to get at. So I tried to focus more on the face shape and features to make them more youthful and also more arrogant. I also wasn't happy with the expression. It's something I'm trying to work on a lot recently. Um, I wanted to make it show disgust or arrogance, but it looked sad. <laughs> I, in the next phase, I felt that I got it very close to what I was looking for, but I felt that I had to try another idea that didn't particularly go well. This face was just trying to try something completely different, but like I said, I didn't particularly like it for this character. Now onto the story. When they were young and growing up, Aten and Amos were told of the history of their people, including their father's previous reign. While Aten openly showed his agreement with the new peaceful rule, Amos has his reservations about sharing their prosperity without the benefits of a total, complete rule. For these views, he was severely reprimanded and told to be more like Aten. This only made Amos bitter and planted a seed of hate inside of him. Fast forward many years, and Artem was preparing to succeed his father, focusing on building good relations with the people. He would go on a journey so large that it would last 10 years. Meanwhile, Amos had become the high priest of the moon god Khonsu, a position that granted him the ability to transform into an eagle human hybrid. To channel divine energy better, With Aten gone on his royal journey across the empire and his position granted him loyal followers, Amos began to make a play for the throne. He began with small things, like when he knew that members of the temple were in earshot, talking about the king's downfalls, such as his drinking problem, even though the king had given up drink long ago. These small doubts slowly spread across the city where more and more people were felt brave enough that they could publicly talk about the king's problems. Amos then sneakily took advantage of these public outbursts and he would seek to publicly denounce and in some cases banish 
those who spoke against the king, only if they were not those who had directly heard him talking first hand. Through these acts of good towards the king, his reputation grew and he became uh, the face of the monarchy more than Amun himself. The people grew to trust him as there were never any talkings of his evil doing because if he heard any he would immediately order their death very privately so that it would not take his reputation. Now Amos is plotting one final act in which he will stage the king for an incredibly evil wrongdoing which Amos himself will commit. He believes that this will finally put him in much higher respects as the king, that he will be able to overthrow him and take the crown for himself. Little does he know that his brother Arten was able to traverse the empire quicker than expected, because in most regions of the empire, Amun's reign has been fully accepted as the rightful king. Though there were problems in some regions, the vast majority of the journey could be completed swiftly with as little setbacks as possible, meaning that his journey only took nine years instead of the full ten. Back to the design now. The skin was very difficult as I have not really practiced using markers for skin color before, so I think it turned out a little oversaturated. However, in the final piece, I don't think that it overpowers anything and I think it looks more natural with all the other colors around it. Uh, for the clothing, they were just my take or my adaption on common depictions of clothes worn by gods, especially Konsu, and the colours were also based on Konsu's common clothes. The symbol atop uh, Elmos's head is that of Konsu, and there we have Elmos's final design, based on Egyptian things. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed almost as half of the story. Make sure to go check out Naish's channel for Arten's half of the story. Links are in the card and in the description below. Uh, also make sure you go and watch my last video and comment on which design you want to have me draw in Sunday's video as the votes on each character are incredibly close. With that said, until next time. Have a great day.